Hold on, Adam. Hold on, mate. Morning, guys. Um, welcome to UTMB 2018 part two. Just thought I would um, have a quick chat and give you an update of what's been happening over the last couple of days. Had an awesome day yesterday watching Liga. Liga's my girlfriend, if you don't know. Uh, watching Liga run the MCC, which is a 40 kilometer race with 2,300 meters of elevation. Um, some pretty steep climbs, some pretty technical descents, as, as she found out yesterday. So I've just got to Agentier, I think that's pronounced right. Uh, I apologize to any French if it isn't. Um, Liga is crushing it. Um, she went over the first, uh, the first big climb looking as fresh as a daisy like she'd done nothing so we're just uh, hanging on tight here to uh, try and see her through and then we're going to rush on to the finish back in Chamonix. Go on Robbie, go on Robbie, chase him down mate, chase him down. Finishing in just over seven hours, loving every minute of it. Um, I ran out um, and ran the last three or four miles back to the finish with her. She was flying, amazing, you know, awesome running, super proud of her. She did a wicked, wicked job of that. What's happening today? So we've got a few things going on today. Day is the 28th. We've only got a few days to a race day now, but today's quite a busy day, so We've, um, one second. Um, I've got a pair of these, new Hocker Torrent that I've been doing a few of the runs in, sort of bedding them in for the race. I'm a big fan of Hocker shoes. I've done a lot of running in the Speedgo. Um, this is a new, um, maybe lighter, more responsive trail shoe from Hocker. Loving the shoe, loving the feel of the shoe, but it doesn't have the same Vibram Mega Grip outsole as the Speedgo. So we've been lucky enough to book an appointment with Vibram who bring their lorry along, which has got like a cobbler's station, a cobbler's workshop in the back of it. And they'll resole any shoe for nothing with their Vibram Mega Grip outsole. So I'm taking these along at one o'clock today to get their new Mega Grip light base put on the bottom of it, which will make it a killer shoe. Super light, super comfy. And with that Mega Grip outsole, it's gonna be pretty good. And also we got Steve, a friend of mine who's running UTMB um, for the third time. Um, he smashed it last year, but he's coming back for another go. So Steve will be joining us. He's staying in the apartment with us. So he'll be coming out and arriving about 8.30. So we're gonna go out and pick him up and bring him back to the apartment. A few days till race day. So we're just getting prepared for it. Um, the countdown has definitely started. So I'm off to get some uh, pastries. Good morning, guys. Cheers. Just having a quick walk around the race expo before we drop the shoes off the Vibram to get resold. Wow, there is a lot of races that you can enter. Too many races, not enough time. to compress sport morning run it's early steve's arrived finally so we had quite a late night say morning steve good morning it could be uh, it could be interesting as i think there's about a thousand people registered but hopefully they won't all turn up we'll see what happens
so we're on our way to register bags have checked kit's been checked we've got to go and pick up our uh, pick up our numbers make sure all our kit passes the kit test and uh, then we'll be done let's hope it's not too busy Bonjour. Dit number uh, 1188. I think it's very good, but we ain't gonna rain. Famous, famous in our words. <laughs> Most of the kit packed and sorted, we thought we'd head out and meet up with friends for the final supper. Texting them back, are you? Texting UTM back. back. <laughs> We're sheltering from the rain and not happy. Filming. 
That last descent is, is a that last descent is a criminal. Yeah. Probably not. Like, yeah. 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 Definitely, the, <laughs> I definitely ran it better this time than last yeah. time. Even though, do you know what I'm thinking? Maybe. Look at this on the first. No. I left the microphone just a few seconds for Lloyd Purvis. We are back in sunny Cornwall, guys, as what can only be described as a totally amazing trip away to Chamonix for UTMB 2018. You know, the race went great. 
We had a great time. It was just an awesome experience, an awesome experience. The main reason that we had a great time was because we went into the race with a plan. You know, I, I kind of learned from the mistakes I made before and I put this plan in place to hopefully get me through and to that finish uh, in Chamonix. And the plan worked, you know, I was running off heart rate. Um, I, I looked at my watch religiously for the first half of the race. Every couple of miles I was looking at my heart rate, every couple of minutes sometimes, to keep that heart rate as low as possible. It definitely had a massive part into play when we talk about getting to that finish. Keeping my heart rate low, it allowed me to hydrate well, it allowed me to eat well. I've never eaten so much food in a 100 mile race. I was troughing on the way in, I was eating pasta and soup while I was there. I was grabbing food on the way out. You know, my body worked well because I could fuel it well, because I could hydrate it well. And that came down to heart rate. So when you go into a race and you have a plan and you've given it a lot of thought and that plan works, there's nothing more satisfying than that. And that had a massive part to play in that finish. I've just uh, popped up at the end of the film just to say a few thank yous really. Thanks to everybody for watching the films, for liking the films, for comments and subscribing and following our journey through UTMB. It's really, really appreciated. I also want to thank a few people that helped before we went out. So uh, a massive thanks to Paul Coker, who helped with strength and mobility, um, which you can watch in a few of the previous films. It made a massive difference, Paul. Um, I was stronger than I've ever been going up mountains, stronger coming down, my quads felt strong all the way through to the end. So thanks very much, Paul, it really helped. Also, Kate Skipper, she's been helping me with sports massage therapy for about 10 years now. She gave my legs a really good workout before we went out, so my legs were in good condition to handle the training and the race. Also, a big thanks to Liga while we were out there. She helped massively supporting myself and Steve throughout the race. Couldn't have done it without her. She was up for hours and hours and hours helping us get through that journey. Also, a thanks to Liga for saying yes at the end there. It would have been a bit of an anti-climax if she hadn't. So there's a few thanks um, to people who really helped. While I'm thanking people, I must thank Steve Wyatt. You know, you can see in the film, we pretty much stuck together the whole race. He really, really helped me throughout that journey. He came out to Chamonix, kind of sacrificed his own race to make sure that I saw it through and got to the end. You know, he put up with my complaining, my moaning, my sleeping. There wasn't a lot of that, but there was a little bit and he stuck by my side. He made it a much more enjoyable journey and he made sure that I got to that finish in Chamonix. It's a funny race, UTMB. It's a very busy race. There's lots of people. You're kind of doing a big conga over the mountains, but it's also a very lonely race. Not many people speak. Um, so having that company really, really made a difference. So thanks very much, Steve. It was really appreciated. Thanks for getting us back to Chamonix into that finish. So like I said, guys, thanks very much for all the support. Um, if you've liked the films, if you've liked this film, please um, hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed already, please hit that subscribe as well. It really does mean a lot to the channel and a lot to myself. Finishing UTMB was a massive deal for me. So getting it done this year and getting to that finish at Chamonix ends a chapter for me in my running. So we're gonna move in a slightly different direction with the next bit of content on the channel. I don't think there's gonna be as much trail running. There still will be some, but not as much. Maybe not as much ultra distance running either. There could be a little bit of road involved or quite a lot of road. And also maybe 26.2 miles might spring up along the way. So we're going in a different direction. Like I said before, if you've liked what you've watched, please hit that like button. Please subscribe to the channel. The content that we're gonna be putting on is gonna be really interesting. We've got some really cool stuff coming up. So stay tuned guys, stay safe, and keep on running.